Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the Frontline Changes report for the past 24 hours and uh, a lot of significant frontline uh, changes uh, including captures by the Russian forces and uh, also I have decided to put DivGen as one of the primary sources after you no know, their information have not seems to be invalidated so seems pretty pretty reliable and uh, that will actually supplement uh, the lack of mapping by Ryba so that would be a good way to balance out in terms of the mapping with the deep state UA on the Ukrainian side so uh, anyway frontline changes over at the Kursk front uh, we go through the whole list first uh, Aperovsky, Lyubimovka, Voschyans, Pischani, uh, Khulishkivka, uh, Mekievka, uh, Chasivka, Lysivka, Seridove region, Novoselidivka, Novo Voleda, and uh, Zoleta Neva. So we go to the curse front first. At the curse front, uh, according to Russian mapping, uh, Ukrainian forces have uh, managed to retake some grounds around Porovsky. And uh, in the in the Russian mapping is a bit bigger because uh the origin the the Russians Russians mapping themselves uh, previously put Porovsky as under Russian control uh but this is never the case on the uh DPA side or at least part of uh, Porovsky was you know in the Russian mapping uh to be under Russian control but this is not the case for us but there is still some slight frontline changes causing a disclaim from the Russian mapping so this uh, lines up with the Ukrainian mapping pretty well as the Ukrainians counter-attack towards uh, a Bukovka so uh, the next frontline change is north of this position uh, this this was first reported during the situation report yesterday uh, with the Russian forces Joe located in the middle of Lyubimovka expanding Russian control within the settlement so this is um, the situation uh, the Russian forces expanding their control over Lyubimovka the next frontline change uh, is over at Voschans very uh, interesting development the russian forces is back at the aggregate plant according to russian reports the russian forces have counter attack uh and retake what was previously lost to them you no know, according uh you know unburdened by the past you no know, then uh they are now re retake retaken this area here so the ukrainian forces uh was pr the ukrainian, ukrainian side was pretty happy when they first recaptured the first chance uh uh, aggregate plan however the russians are back uh, after severe uh, bombing campaign by the russian side i think the ukraine is just unable to hold a plan uh, we have multiple you no know, massive explosions happening around here massive bombings so yeah so we are seeing the return of the russians back to this initial position so after first chance the next frontline change we jump to pischani so so this is uh kupians and uh, this is the pischani front and uh, in the north of Pischani, Russian forces has been geolocated in the north of Pischani, uh, taking some grounds in the north. And the Russians also, based on the Russian mapping, have uh, extended the control, moving towards Kluskivka. And this is the third settlement uh, that is now on the, at the risk of being attacked by the Russian forces right now. So uh, in, the, in this latest mapping by DivGen, the Russian forces have taken... Uh, the the tree line as well as this uh little bulge around here so russian forces have taken a lot of grounds and they are basically at the doorstep of uh Kluskivka. so uh the distance is merely less than 100 kilometers around 200 kilometers 200 kilometers 200 meters so the russians are going to be attacking uh wrong color you're going to be attacking uh Kluskivka very very soon i guess and uh, this is like i said the third town that is now under threat after Kolesnivka and uh, Kulekivka. So now we, we have a uh, Kluskivka. Looks like this, uh, this strangling is now going to, yeah, going to start to tighten. Uh, over then after Kluskivka, we jump further south to Mekievka. So at Mekievka, there is some slight change. Uh, Joe location of uh, Russian forces expanding uh, the Russian control in the south of Mekievka, invalidating some Ukrainian claims. So, but that's about it from this area. And uh, the next front line change, we jump all the way to the Bakhmut front at Chasifia. So, this is Bakhmut, and uh, over at Chasifia region, Russian forces has been geolocated to have expanded the control uh, within the 
Otyabersky uh, Micro District. This is the Otyabersky Micro District, also known as Z uh, Zernove. Z Zotneve. Yeah, Zotneve. So th this is uh, the, the front line change around here as the Russians continue to slowly penetrate deeper and deeper into Chasifia. Very slowly, but penetrating. So, and the next front line change after uh, Chasifia, we have front line changes over in the Pokrov front. Over in the uh, west of Novokhorodivka, this is Novokhorodivka, uh, the Russian forces have expanded their control uh, west of this position and uh, taking a bit more grounds around the Sivka and uh, slightly increasing the control along the highway and one more tree line uh, in the southwest of Novokhorodivka. So in, if you move further south, uh, you can see that uh, this front line change uh, does affect Selidove tactically as the Russians can now attack into the northern part of Selidove, opening a new front around the battle for Selidove. So that's the implication. And further south from this position, uh, the Russian forces around the Hernik region have attacked as per I have expected. I have mentioned this during the situation report that the Russian forces have uh, will attack southward and um, cutting into uh, the retreat route of the Ukrainian forces over at Hernik. So Russian forces have entered into Novo Selidivka and uh, they have also starting to attack into the northern outskirts of Novo Selidivka. So the Russians are going to start to attack into Novoselidivka and perhaps even to Ismailivka. And now uh, this is going to be a big massive problem for the Ukrainians. So after this frontline change over at the Hernik region, uh, we have frontline changes over at Voleda. So in the north of Voleda, as I mentioned before, this doesn't make sense for the Ukrainians to have a salience around here. Based on Russian mapping by Divgen, uh, the, they have mapped that the Russian forces have taken control of this area. So this is based on this uh, Russian claim, but most likely this is uh, confirmed. And uh, because just logically, there's no possibility of the Ukrainians being in this position. And our final frontline changes is over at Zolotaneva. So based on the Russian claims, uh, there is your location of Russian uh, soldier uh, holding the flag and walk around. Uh, he, The fact that he's just walking around with the flag over his head shows that uh, there is no imminent threat around in the southern part of Zolota Neva. And uh, along with all the frontline changes, this stretches the entire south of Zolota Neva as under Russian control, as well as a huge expansion of the grounds around Zolota Neva. So uh, in DPA's case, uh, this is not, uh, I still do not think it's 100% yet, but it's very, very close. Um, but the Russian mapping wise is already declaring Zolotan Neva as captured by the Russian forces. So I will just wait a bit more for Ukrainian com confirmation uh, because the geolocation is all in the south. So if you look at the settlement, Russian forces are, are geolocated basically in the south. There is always this possibility that the Ukrainians are still in the north. That This is possible. Uh, however, Russian mapping have already mapped it like this. But... Uh, for us, the confirm, confirmed line is here. This is the confirmed line. So because of this, uh, soldiers walking around the south. So uh, I I will still hold back a bit, I think, but we will definitely get confirmation in, within a day or two from the Ukrainian side uh, conceding the loss of Zoleta Neva. So anyway, that's it. This is the frontline changes report for the past 24 hours. I'm not sure if Deep State UA actually updated their map, you know, doing another stealth because they don't want to let people know of the collapse and they just quietly updated the map. That is also still possible. Uh, but I will check it out later. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update.